Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to talk about the one-year um, clock. We now have exactly one year to the 2024 U.S. presidential primary, U.S. presidential election on November 2nd, 2024, so we're one year out. We're less than a year out, right? And so what I want to talk about is what, where is Vivek Ramaswamy? Why is he there? And what did he, why is he there? And what needs to happen um, for us to get the rest of the way there, okay? All right, so let, let's go ahead and talk this through. So where is he? First of all, he's losing. Um, he is not in the lead, and that's not good. Now, now the one thing he, so right now, I would say that he is number two in the Republican race, right? And you're like, wait a second. And who's in front of him? Nikki Haley is in front of him. Wait a second. What about Donald Trump? Uh, President Donald Trump. I don't actually think President Donald Trump is really a Republican in any way. Um, he There's the Trump Party, and the Trump Party, uh, like, wears the skin of the Republican Party now. And if Vivek Ramaswamy or if Nikki Haley are elected, we will, we will return to the Republican Party actually being a real thing. But the Republican Party is not a real thing now. I think it's a, it's a murdered corpse and, like, it's been flayed. And the Trumpers wear the uh, Republican skin. Like, it just kind of, like, walk around like the Republican Party. But it's really the Trump Party, right? Like, you know, the Republicans stood for character and uh, morality and liberty. Trump doesn't stand for any of those things. He just, like, he's this repugnant, vile human monster uh, who treats the people he cares about very, very badly, right? He's just, he's not a real... He's not a real candidate for leadership, like because he's just a repugnant, vile human being who has who lies kind. Con- and the reason why is he just lies constantly. He has no connection to the truth anymore, right? So if you don't have any connection to the truth, do you even qualify as? You certainly don't qualify for leadership, right? Um, he's I I could I think he's more monster than human. I you know I I do think he is. He has a beating heart, right? But like. I just don't, I don't think there's an ounce of, um, just character in him, right? Or morality or goodness, right? And I don't understand how any good human being could ever give their vote to him. All right. So let, let's keep moving forward here. So, so basically, uh, so, so he, so I think in the race right now, I would say that Vivek Ramaswamy is second in line to win the Republican and I think Nikki Haley is is ahead of him, right? Not, and we're not talking polls here. Nobody believes in nobody who nobody who witnessed 2016 puts any stake in polls, right? We look at the patterns. We look at, you know, we look at, uh, we look at the momentum that a candidate has, and we say, okay, where are we at, right? Because pol- polls tell us nothing. They're they're not. It's all pattern recognition now, right? And so, what's the pattern that tells me that Nikki Haley is ahead? Well. The greatest political pundits on the planet are the Slate Political Gab Fest, and that's uh, David Plotz, Emily Bazelon, and John Dickerson. And they say they they say that Nikki is has real momentum, and there's real talk about her winning, right? And she's a real threat to President Donald Trump. Vivek's right behind her. Okay, so so first of all, where is Vivek? He is making every debate. That's a big deal. He has not quit. That's a big deal. Mike Pence just quit this last month, right? That's a big deal. Vivek Ramaswamy defeated Michael Pence. That's huge. That's really good momentum. But the reality is he's not winning, right? He's not winning in the race, right? We will have a race until November 1st. On November 2nd, the election occurs and the race is over. Right now, Vivek is not winning the race, okay? Now, why is that? So, first of all, uh, first, let's talk about what he did do right and what he did to maintain his second place position, okay? All right. So, he did four things extremely well. Character. He's returning character to leadership. He's a good, upstanding human being. He has a wife. He has children. He loves them. He treats them with respect. Why does that matter? Because if you don't treat your wife and your children with respect... Why on earth would anyone you don't who is not your literal blood, right? Like, why on earth would you would anyone else expect that 
that you will treat them well. And that's the point. There's no expectation from any of us that Donald Trump would ever treat us well or be kind to us in any way. And he didn't. He was like he ran the Republican playbook, which is extremely good, but if you were not but if you were a person of color in this country, he te- treated you terribly. Ter- absolutely terribly and displayed outrageous prejudice to you and stoked prejudices that had had gone underground for 50 years that were now just like literally out and about in public, right? So he was horrible, right? It was he, President Donald Trump was a terrible, terrible man. He still is, right? He's just, he's a monstrous, vile human being and he belongs nowhere near leadership. Okay, all right. So, um, but Vivek Ramaswamy is returning character to leadership and that that's, that's a big deal, right? Like, we're like, hey, what if there was a person, what if there's a person who actually lived as a good moral human being and actually had some idea what a good alignment was, what it meant to be a good person, who he could even conceive of it. It's clear President Donald Trump can't even conceive of being good. He doesn't even know what it looks like, right? It's not even in his vocabulary, right? Like, And it's certainly not in his vision, right? He doesn't know what a good human being actually looks like or is, right? He chooses ghouls to serve next to him, like Rudy Giuliani, right? Like, you know, it's, 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 it's terrible. We should never have four years under him. We cannot have another four. Okay. So he's returning us to character, courage. Okay. Courage. He has displayed incredible courage. When you go into the presidential election, every single day you are running for president, all of your privacy is stripped away, right? There, it's just, and we, I saw this with Andrew Yang. There was nothing left of his life. Every corner of his life was explored. And it was the same thing. It's the same thing with Vivek Ramaswamy right now. Every single, every single thing he's ever done to earn glory is being put up. And every mistake he's ever made is put up. It takes incredible courage to fly in the face of this absolutely vicious mainstream media who will tell who tell very strong untruths about you, right? And he's displayed incredible courage to continue forward. Persistence, he hasn't quit. That's a big deal. It's a very big deal. Persistence, he has not quit, right? Lisa Hutchinson quit. Mike Pence quit, right? And more are going to quit, right? The, the reality is so more are going to quit, right? So persistence, he's shown that. Process, he's done a tremendous job. RFK, like, oh, I'm going to be a Democrat, everybody. Oh, now I'm running as an independent. Am I going to be on all 50, 50 ballots? Am I going to be a ballot on all 50 states? Process. Vivek Ramaswamy is a real candidate. He's going to be on the ballot in all 50 states. And the way you know that is he's making the debates. If you cannot make the debates, you suck. And you if you can't, if you can't prepare for a hard conversation, you certainly can't lead, right? And so he has done it. There are qualifications. You have to have a certain number of donors. They need to be unique donors. They need to have donated specific amounts. You know, you need signatures. You need to, and he has overcome every single obstacle, which are real obstacles, metrics, which he has very much achieved to be in every debate. The debates are real, and they tell us who should be considered and who should not, right? And of course... President Donald Trump is not showing up for the debates because he doesn't know how. He doesn't really he, he he doesn't have the wherewithal for a for a hard conversation anymore, right? In 2016, he could show up and he could mock the floor with everybody. Now he can't even show up. And he certainly couldn't. Vivek Ramaswamy would destroy President Donald Trump, right? And I get to say that. You know why? Because your man's a coward and doesn't show. And I can say that Vivek Ramaswamy would beat him because I don't need because I don't need to defend that because your guy isn't even showing up. He's afraid of everyone. Like, and certainly Vivek. Vivek would tear him apart, right? Like, Vivek would tear Donald Trump apart in a debate. And I could say that without anyone coming back at me because every every Donald Trump uh, supporter knows their guy has lost all ability to have a hard conversation. He was strong. He was fast. He was quick. He was clever in 2016. Now he's just an 80-year-old sad sack just like Biden, Right? And he's doing exactly what Biden's doing. He's dodging the fight, right? Like he's dodging the virtual fight, right? And that's and that's you know he's dodging the hard conversation. He's Bidening it up, right? Uh, 
President Donald Trump is just a Biden ditto at this point. Okay? All right. Let's keep moving. All right. So pro- he's done it all, right? What has he failed to do? This is very, very critical. He has failed to do this incredibly critical thing. Okay? What has he failed to do? He has failed to control the media. President Donald Trump made this an absolute requirement for every president going for forward. Every single president going forward absolutely must do this. Right? Now, what is it? They have to control the media. And I have given idea after idea after idea where if Vivek had, get, had talked about these things, promised these things, he would have controlled the, the news cycle. Instead, he just keeps repeating the Trump, Trump speech, right? That is not going to control the media, right? President Donald Trump did this every single day of the of the 2020 U.S. Uh, of the 2016 U.S. presidential race, and then he did every single day of his 2016 to 2024 to 2020 U.S. presidential run, right? His actual term controlled the media at every turn. They could never look away from him. They could never ignore him. And the reason why was he said outlandish wild things that shocked people. He promised change and he delivered change. Vivek is not doing that. Continuing to repeat the stump speech is not going to get it done. Vivek, please, you've got to start doing things to control the media. If you cannot do it, you will lose. I have faith that in this very month, in November, you will pick up any one of my ideas, dominate the news cycle, right, and then uh, and then move on to another cycle of dominating the news cycle. For Vake, it's absolutely critical. You have done the character part right. You have done the courage part right. You've done the process part right. You have pers- done the persistence part right. But you are not controlling the media. And if you do not control the media, you will lose. For Vake, please, please, please. Pick up any one of the 25 different ideas I've had. Any one of them will make you own the news cycle for that day, right? And then you repeat it. You repeat it until the point where you're owning the news cycle every week, every month, and every month until the until the actual election, and then you win. That's the path. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when you get in the comments and send your humble opinion. Please consider like describing and have a wonderful millennium.